folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? We are ready to start our oilseed rape harvest, our canola harvest. And, yeah. This is going to take a while. This is really going to take a while. With this little tiny header, this is going to take ages. But anyway, we, we better crack on because um, otherwise we are never going to get it finished. So let's see what we can do from inside the cab to start with. It's... A little bit difficult to see what you're doing when you're combining from straight inside the cab. I'm just going to reverse out a little bit, and I'm going to have to shut that gate after us in a in a while. Um, move on to here. Let's come outside so that we can see what happens here. We want to unfold the harvester first of all. That'll open up the roof for the um, grain tank to allow it all to fit in there, and I'm going to keep the straw swath in place I think um, I don't know if we have a baler uh, let's check our phone where we have a record of everything that we own and it's always handy this especially when you've got a new farm and you're not quite familiar with what you've got we've got the euro boss here so we can pick up loose straw with that one if we want to and so that we could use and then yeah we've got the water tank so I'm sort of trying to decide what exactly I want to do with this map. We've got these arable crops that we've got at the moment. Um, we've got uh, a mower and the forage wagon here so that we can do some animal husbandry. And I'm thinking that to start with, what we'll probably do... Hang on, let's just double check that I've got everything right. So let's turn on her uh, fold. Yeah, okay, everything's good. Let's move in here and... And it's down... Oh, that is a beautiful sound. Right. Uh, I will just say, I turned the sound down slightly. I thought it was a little bit too loud compared to my voice last time. Um, let me know if you want it any different. Um, I was just saying about disabling the straw swath. Uh, it's not really going to make much difference because we're... Um, ooh, this isn't very good. Yeah, but anyways, it's not going to make much difference purely because we're in oil seed rape. So it's... Yeah you don't leave straw swath. Now, we want to lift this one up, and with oilseed rape, you... So I should call it canola. I'll uh, call it canola, then everybody knows what I'm talking about. Um, with canola, uh, you got the, we've got the, the knives on the side for cutting it, but you want to have the reel up as high as possible. You do not want that in the crop, because what it does is it will shatter the pods before they reach the actual bed of the machine, and this is not something that you want. So let's carry on round. I am going to just carry on around the outside here I think but if that head we, we, ideally we'd want that header further up out of the crop it's a little bit too low to be honest um, because if it touches the pods they shatter they're very very delicate and canola is a very very small seed so if it shatters too soon it doesn't it sort of drops off the front of the header and you can get it going back into the field this is not a good thing so ideally what you'd want to do is you'd want to have your reel way above the crop so it's barely touching it and you want it in as far as possible so it's directly above the table so that any shatter that does occur occurs on the header table and not in front of the header table. That's quite an important part of it. Uh, but anyway, that bit aside, we carry on up here. We're 17% so far and I am missing a whole bit up the side. It's very difficult to judge from in here, being a 2D machine, a, two, a 2D image, trying to judge a three-dimensional... Yeah, this is awful. Let me move up over here. There we go. I'm, I think I'm going to do a lot of this from outside of the cab, to be honest, because... Just because. I like looking at the combine as well. A lot easier if you can do it like this. And I think what we'll do is, once we've done a couple of rounds, we can hire a worker to drive the combine for us while we start concentrating on working the grain part probably be better use of our time. We've got some maize in there. Is that half? No, that's not our field. So when we buy that, we'll not be ready to harvest. We'll be able to put that straight either into the cows or the, the BGA. Um, yes, and that's the other thing. Do What do we want to do? Do we want to focus on arable crops for this one? Or do we want to do a bit of everything? Do we want to go mostly for animals? I've never used the beef and pig mod before, uh, so I definitely want to get some of those. Um, and if we do that, we're going to want mixed rations, which means we're going to want silage and hay, and we're going to want some straw. The straw's not going to be a problem. 
Um, but then we got milking cows as well. And, you know, I, I quite like having the milking cows. So what do you want to see? I'm going to say today's question is going to be, do you want me to do mostly animals? Uh, so say number one for mostly animals, number two for mostly arable, or number three for sort of an even mix of the two. And I will see what I can do. I, I will do I will do a little bit of everything, uh, but if you want me to be mostly arable, then I will concentrate on getting bigger combines and stuff like that. Let's just bring around the corner here. Um, now, if you live in the States, and I believe in Eastern Europe as well, it's, um, it's how farming is done. It's, it's, it's much more extensive farming. Um, you can have great big sweeping turns in the fields, but here in the UK, we have a much more intensive type of farming, and so our crops actually grow a lot thicker. We get a much higher yield per acre, and the way we do that is we apply a lot more fertilizer per acre than they do over in the States, where they do a much more extensive farm. As a result, if you try to turn a combine in the middle of the crop with the header down in the crop in this country, you would utter utterly destroy the front of your header. You, all the, um, the knives and the fingers and everything, you would bend them all over. It would cause all sorts of problems for your combine. So the truth of the matter is that you cannot turn in the crop very well in the UK. When, you, when you're doing like around the outside couple of turns, you've got to be very careful that you don't turn too hard or you can do some serious damage to your machine. And I not, don't believe it's much of a problem in the States. And I don't know about Eastern European farming. Um, I believe like France, Germany, um, Western Europe, it's, it's very similar. Um, Australia tends to be more extensive farming as well. So, ooh, we've got a nice bit of a hill there. I do like having contours. I've said this in my uh, time-lapse videos. I love having contours in the fields. Um, it's obviously much better if the machines can actually follow it because that huge, great big Crohn's rake that I use in my um, time-lapse series, <laughs> that does not like following contours in the fields at all. Right, so we've nearly done one... Actually, no, we're not even close to one complete circuit of this field. This is going to take us forever. I'm seriously considering getting another combine. I wonder if we could hire a second one um, with the money we make from selling the first load. I'm not sure. Anyway, we, once we get... Well, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep going till we've got a full tank and hope that uh, we can get somewhere near our tractors. They're over there on the headland. I can see them up there. Just through the window. We're 82% filled with canola. And... It is, we, we do have some nice contours in here. This is, it is looking quite realistic. Let's have a look in the grain tank. It's getting quite full now. I wasn't even hugging the crop all that tightly. But I think what we'll do is, like I said, once we've done one complete circuit, we will, well, two complete circuits, I think. We want enough room for the combine to be able to turn around on the headland. Then we can start concentrating on emptying the trailer while we leave uh, some... Uh, hired hand to do the actual combine work. Right, let's uh, bring it round the corner nice and steady. You cannot turn fast, remember. Sharp turns will damage it. It's not quite so bad in canola, it's a, it's a slightly more gentle crop. Um, certainly wheat is one of the heaviest ones. You certainly don't want to be turning sharp in a field of wheat. You could really do quite a lot of damage to your header. And right going to stop here a second. Let's leave it. We're going to have to um, yeah, we'll just come out. Let it power down a little bit. Come into the tractor. Right. I want to remove the cover. And come down over here. I don't know how well we're going to be able to get filling this one up. So that is my, well, my main question today is uh, what do you want to see me do? Uh, but I do have one more question, and that is, do you want me to get manual ignition mod? Um, I've never really seen a need for it. I did use it in uh, Simulator 13, 2013. I did use it in that one, and it is quite good. But, I mean, I'll, I'll leave that up to you. So, yeah, you've got two questions today, actually. Number one, 
Vote one for mostly arable, vote two for mostly animals, three for an even mix, and yes or no, do you want me to get a manual ignition mod? There's a couple of different ones available. Uh, I'll take a look and see which one I think is the best. And I need to do another circuit in the field now. As soon as this finish emptying, we'll carry right on. Okay, we can get quite a bit into that um, trailer there. It's only 30% full. Don't forget to put your arm back in. I actually witnessed someone sweep the arm off their combine because they've got to put that back in. They unloaded near the edge of a field and then they carried on around the outside of the field and knocked the header, knocked the arm of the combine right off. That put it out of action for two days while we rushed off to try and find some spare parts for it. Not a good thing. Right, let's see if we can get another round of this field done. Ah, I'm just coming up to the final turn here. I've found that the actual easiest way to be able to see where I'm going with this crop is to have it positioned on this side. And uh, this texture for the oil seed uh, for the canola is absolutely brilliant, but the texture for the stubble underneath is slightly less realistic. Um, normally it's a much greener shade, and it's actually a lot easier to see in real life than it is on here. I'm having a bit of a job tell the difference between the two. I mean, when you write down like this, you can see quite easily. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's only a tiny little niggle, really. It's, it's, it's nothing. An absolute nothing. For the sheer quality of this map, I don't think we need to concern ourselves. Um, just turn the combine off a second while I unload. And I think what we're going to do is I'm just going to cut a little slice straight out there, and then I'm going to let the combine take over. And we're going to take our... I mean, we've barely even got half a trailer full yet. And up here, but I want to go and see if we can sell this first bit. And I think that we're going to have to go... We've got to go down to the village for that, which is... Or the station, I believe it is. So to sell that, we've got to go... It'd be better if we go back out and turn right head down back towards the farm where we came from and then turn left just after there and go along the bottom of 1, 2, 16 and 17. So I think that's the way that we'll go. But first of all we'll set this one up and then we're going to end up losing a bit of money because we're going to employ someone to start driving our combine. Here it belch as all the, um, the clutches engage and everything. That's very realistic, especially for an older combine like this. I mean, it looks quite shiny, actually. But it's been well looked after, this machine. It's been very well looked after. Uh, but, yeah, it does actually make all that great big noisy belch when he starts. It's sort of all the clutches engaging and everything. That is absolutely brilliant. So what we're going to do now is we're going to spin round. And because we don't have the auto combine mod, we're going to use the general hired help. And they're not very good at uh, doing anything other than dead straight lines. So we're going to come down here and start on this corner down here and hope that they can cope with working their way across the field. They can go if they can sort of go where the, the, um, the passes on the field get bigger and bigger, but they can't do it the other way around. They, they sort of lose where they are and then they just stop. So we'll have to sort of do half the field from this direction and then half the field from the other direction so that's how we're going to do it so let's spin round, there we go oh, up. Oh, I don't want to be driving in the crop if I can help it, right that's lined up square there and let's just see if it can cope with it we drive off here it will mean he'll leave a little bit of a mess around the edge, but we can go back and we can clear that up afterwards if we so desire. It's going quite nicely. He's going to come just up to here where we left out the crop, and then he'll oh, he's going to stop and turn here. That's going to be a huge swap that he's going to leave behind. Uh, we can't help that. So we need to get on up the road. I want to sell this crop. Is that working? He's, he's doing a grand job. Let's just step away from the combine so that he'll carry on. Um, unfortunately, he's not that bright, so he is going to leave big chunks of it, but we'll, we'll, we'll live with that. 
Now, let's go. We've got 56% in this trailer. I mean, ideally, I should fill this trailer up, I suppose. Um, we will next time. We will next time. Let's put the cover on. And I want to get out of here. I'm going to swing round. I'll leave him to get on with his work. Hopefully, he's not going to drive into my tractor up there. I don't think he will. Now, I want to come out of here, and I want to turn left. Out round that way and then we're going to go out down the end of this road and we'll turn right carry on straight down there now why aren't the indicators working it should be because i'm pressing the wrong button that's the indicator it's a bit sad when you don't know where your indicators are okay i'm going to carry on round and see if we can get to the village this tractor is doing a fantastic job of pulling this trailer along. Um, it's quite a powerful little machine, really. It's a, it's, a, it's a much older one, it's true. And it, it's not the most comfortable machine to sit in. Um, perhaps I'd better not hang around and look at the seat while I'm actually driving. Uh, I'll show you the seat in a minute. Coming up to the village here. Now, we've got to try and get in to the cell point in there see how much we can get for selling our canola. I realise this isn't the best way to do it, but we do want to get a little bit of money so that we can start getting some extra machinery. And now, I think we've got to go into the village in here. We'll just take a quick look at the seat. Look, it's, it's not comfortable. This is old style stuff. That's the passenger seat all the way up there. And the gears down here. Well, that's the two gears down there. Um, those are horrible things to use, that is, on the long sticks over there. I never like driving uh, any tractors with those on. I find them horrible things to use. Let's go up here. There's people running down the sides of the road. If I've got to bring bigger machines up through here, this is going to be difficult. Now, I, I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? Where do I need to go? Well, I don't want to go through there. I'm going past lots of houses. Perhaps I shouldn't have turned off here. Maybe I should have stayed on the road I was on, on the outside. Not quite sure. Maybe walk past there. Perhaps we should stop and ask for directions. I believe it's the local pub that we need to try and find. Is it this one? Uh, I don't know. Let's go in here and see what we can find. I hope I don't have to turn around, because turning around one of these trailers is not easy. In here, around this bit, around here. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. Do I go that way or that way? I think I go this way. I think I go in through here. There's the egg cell point. And through here. Ah, there we go. That is a long way to go. I mean, there's a road right there. Why can't we just come in through? That's a cruel trick to play, that is. Okay, let's... Can I swing around? Oh, I can just make it. Look at that. There we go. And we can tip. Okay, now the combine is 65% full, so... Not quite sure. How much do we get? Oh, nice. Half a trailer has just got us £12,000. Euros, I should say. It, it should be in pounds. I do apologise. I do need to change that over. Let's just quickly... Cycle through this one. Um, prices. And I think to... I need to bring up that one. I, oh, it's this one. Station. Corn Canola. Ah, the pub. 1,086 per tonne. Uh, that is going to drop, obviously, at the end of the hour. So we'll have to keep an eye on that price and see how much it does drop down by. Uh, but in the meantime... I think we're doing all right with that. Well, I want to get back to the field now as quickly as I can because the combine is going to be full. I'm hoping I don't need to start using another trailer for this. Um, which is best. Oh, can I get out this way? Let's see. Can I can I get out round here? There's a road there. There's a road that way. I can't go there. The hedge road there. I, can't really go through people's hedgerows. That's just not the done thing. 
It is a bit of a loop. It's a very tight squeeze on this loop. Um, I think Mr. Tomex has a bit of a wicked sense of humour trying to make us get in round all this. I'm going to go this way this time and see... Well, I'm 83%. I think we're going to have to get the other trailer. Park that one in the field so the combine can empty into that trailer. Although, now that I've figured my way round this place, it'll probably be a lot easier. I can come round there. That's just a straight wall there. Yeah, we did come in the right way, just about. I think that is the best way to come in. This is awful. A tree there, in a way. Ah, oh, you... Really? I'm lost. I'm stuck in suburbia. <laughs> this is terrible. I'm lost. How can I get lost in a little village like this? I didn't come past there. There's a field there. I wanna I just I wanna escape. I wanna escape. I'm back at the back at the pub. Right, it looks like we're gonna have to go out this way. Right, let's just follow the Ah, there we go. Right, so I need to go out this way. I turned left. I should have turned right. And I think if we didn't get lost, then the combine wouldn't have uh, gotten full. And I'm looking out this way just so that we can sort of see where we're going. I get round here. Now this is the way that we came in. I'm wondering if there's a different way to get through here rather than up here. Because this is... Don't walk in front of the tractor! Yeah, can you get in up that way or not? Not entirely sure. Um, a quick look at the map. And... Right, if I bring up this other map, we can just take a quick look. Right, it looks like we could possibly cut in across here. We come up there, across, straight up here to this top corner. I don't know if there's a gate up there or not. That might be a bit of a quicker road. So let's do that. We're going to turn right here, and we're going to follow this one up, and then we're going to come in here, and hopefully there's a track there that will take us all the way through to here, and then straight up although i don't think we're going to be saving a lot of time to be honest i don't think there's a lot in it um let's take a look we'll go that way and see what we can find so it's only just up the road and then there's going to be a turning um, and there's another is there another turning here into the village no there isn't that is the only way into the village where we just were so it's going to be difficult. Whatever vehicle we use to get into the village is going to be difficult. Now, the turning to that road is just here. There it is. Right. Down through this way. There we go. Now we want to head up this track. Is this going to be fast? Combine is now sat in the field waiting for us. And this is not a good state of affairs. You never want to leave the combine waiting. Always make sure you've got enough grain carts to move it away, but I'm hoping that this is just like a temporary thing. Um, I'm, I'm not planning, I did say before, I'm not going to show you everywhere that I drive, uh, but this is quite a cool little track we're going along, so I'll let you see this one. This is it is looking pretty good. Let's, let's take a look at the scenery. Let's, let's pan out a little bit. Um, a little bit of a different type of crop over in the corner of that one. Um, and now, when I'm outside of the cab and trying to look around at the same time as drive, it's never quite as good. So we come down to the bottom of the hill here, and then we want to turn a sharp left and carry on up this way. Uh, it's just an open bottom of the field just there. It's all ploughed up and ready to roll. Buy that field at some point. Oh, oh. Careful. Right, let's, uh, let's sit inside the cab where we can see what we're doing. I'm having to go fast now. I know that we're running out of time. You cannot keep your combine waiting. That is, that is just bad manners. You, do, you never keep the combine waiting. Um, the farm manager is probably going to be stood over there. Actually, technically, that's me. Um, I'm currently the farm manager, but... Uh, yeah, I've had farm managers shout at me for a lot less than just keeping the combine waiting in the field. You've got to have a good reason for being late back to the field. 
you've got to have a very good reason. I mean, you've got to be bleeding or something. Um, yeah, it, it really is that bad. It is it genuinely that bad. You never keep it waiting during the harvest. The combine must always be kept going. But he's done a nice little slice of the field there. And obviously with the bigger passes now, he's going to be able to... Oh, it's just a pass in place. With the bigger passes of the field, he's going to be able to get a lot more duck. Um, but now that we're back... Hang on. Look, swing in round. It's, tell you what, probably easier approaching from this side than it is from the other side. In round there, straight across. And I'm going to have to... No, I'm not, I'm not going to drive on the prop. I'll just back him out round. Can't drive on the prop. The combine would back out round. That's what he would do. So let's run over here. In we get. And I really should have just put the tractor elsewhere. This is not the most convenient place to have left it parked. Back up a little start unloading. Right, let's see if we can get another load or two out of this field. time for today uh, we're going to continue on with the harvest here I think I'll probably fill this trailer right up sell it and then fill it mostly up again that will take care of most of this field and then we'll have a little bit left for the final episode so the question today if you would like me to focus mostly on arable farming then it's number one in the comments down below if you want me to focus mostly on animal husbandry as number two in the comments below remember we've got the beef and pigs mod in this game as well as the normal um chickens sheep and dairy cows and if you want me to do sort of an even mix of the two then it's number three the bonus question which is actually we do need an extra one because like i said i do most of my recording at uh, the beginning of the week so the first question from the previous episode will be answered in our next episode uh, this question was number uh, episode, uh, where are we now? That will be episode four. And then number five it will be this bonus question. Do you want me to use a manual ignition mod? Do you want me to manually start the tractors when we get into them if we want to move them? Um, yes or no down below. Just let me know what you think. And that is it. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, head below, give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, please tell your friends about me as well. Thank you again. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.